There are many people who say, why would you as a preacher, why would you as a pastor be involved in, in public life? And I've already said it, but I'll say it again. Our calling is not just within the walls of the congregation, but we are part of the life and community in which our congregation resides. To really understand the meaning of last night's massacre in South Carolina, it's important to understand the history of the church where it happened. Built in 1891, Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church, referred to as Mother Emanuel, is the oldest AME church in the South and houses the oldest black congregation south of Baltimore. The history of the congregation goes back further than that. It was founded by worshipers looking to escape white supremacy in 1816. In 1822, one of the church's founders, a man by the name of Denmark Vesey, masterminded what would have been the largest slave revolt in American history if he wasn't ratted out. In an unreleased documentary about Emanuel Amy, the members of the church, including Reverend Clementa Pickney, who was murdered last night, talked about that failed insurrection and what happened after. The participants in the rebellion met at Emanuel. So that rebellion, though led by Denmark VC, was basically an AME rebellion. Because of that, South Carolina created the Citadel. The guns were pointed in the direction of where the members of Mother Emanuel lived. Just in case there was another insurrection, the state was ready. Not long after that, Vesey and dozens of others were put to death and the church was burned to the ground. The congregation met in secret until after the Civil War, when the church was formally reorganized under the name Emanuel. The church's tradition of fighting for civil rights continued into the 20th century, from Martin Luther King, who gave a speech there in 1962, to his widow, Coretta Scott King, who led a rally in 1969 at Mother Emanuel in support of striking hospital workers. To Reverend Pickney, who was a member of the South Carolina State Senate and an advocate for body cameras for police officers. For nearly 200 years, Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church has endured against the efforts of white supremacists to destroy it. And if there is one lesson, it is that even if you murder its congregates and burn the structure to the ground, it will still endure. Joining me now, Charleston City Councilman William Gregory, member of AML, Emanuel AME's congregation. And yes. My condolences. Thank you very much. You've gone to this church your whole life? Born and reared in this church, and my family were probably some of the founding members of this church. We helped build this church. Um, I've heard stories of the ladies going around with the bricks in their apron as the Masons build this church. So for me, um, this church is a part of my family. It's a part of our history. I mean, this this structure is built. The structure we're looking at is built in the wake of the war. Yes. Um, in in the the. the right as sort of reconstruction is kind of falling apart essentially right yes. i mean it is yes. it is physically an embodiment of black freedom and black liberation at a moment when south carolina is falling back into the clutches of of tyranny yes but i think right now um, and i'd like to talk about right now yeah. um, our church is going through a period of mourning um, I knew all the people who were murdered there, and just have we have survived hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, our church being burned down, we'll survive this. For us, it's a time to mourn and to bury our dead. Uh, it's a time for us to pray and prepare for our future so that our church can continue to be resilient and be the lifeblood and a contribution to this city and to this state and to this country. How do you make sense of what happened last night? I can't make sense, uh, but I do know that we have to be able to heal before we can move forward, and a part of healing is forgiving. Uh, I've learned very early on that if someone harms you or hates you and you hate back, then you lose. Uh, that's a teaching principle in our church. It's a principle that oh, most of us have lived by. So right now, our church is going through a healing period, a period where we want to bury our dead in peace, a period where we have to forgive in order for us to move on and make sure that our children have the benefits of this church 
which has been a pillar to this community, a pillar to this state, and a pillar to our country. What is Wednesday Night Bible Study like at Emmanuel AME? Small, intimate, uh, generally no more than about 20 people. Uh, my mother, who is 94, uh, generally goes to every Bible study. Uh, fortunately, this time she was away, uh, so she missed it. But all the people that were in that Bible study is a part of the Emmanuel's family and a part of the fabric of the city, uh, and they will be missed greatly. Um, our minister, um, Clementi, was more than a pastor and a senator to me. Um, he was a friend, a dear friend. Uh, we collaborated often, him as a senator, me as a city council member. We would talk about issues between the state and the city, but we'd talk more about our church and its evolution. Uh, our pastor was a builder. Um, over the last five years, we've been able to complete three structures, bringing in tens of thousands of dollars into our coffers. And we need to complete our elevator so that we can make sure that the elderly can enjoy the beautiful sanctuary. And we've got to complete our sanctuary as well. Something tells me there's going to be a lot of, um, there's a lot of love being directed your way, a lot of prayers, and I think um, people will show their support uh, as this continues. It's a great okay. pleasure. And again, my condolences. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back with more live from Charleston, South Carolina in a moment.